this week in the women's division, they were all tag matches. And this one, six-woman tag match, Emmy Sakura was back on TV. This is a great way to get more people on TV and create factions. Although there is some friction between Shida and Baker when Shida was holding Nyla Rose and then Nyla Rose moved out of the way and Shida got super kicked by Baker. So many other spots in this match I liked were from Emi Sakura when the match began. She did a crossbody on Shida and Baker into the turnbuckle. Another one was when Baker was tied up in the ropes and Emmy decided to have a spot of tea. The other one I enjoyed was when Statlander got to the top turnbuckle and dived onto the pile ringside. What followed next was Friday Night Fever on Marina Shafir. Then after the bell, Soho came down to the ring and attacked Statlander. I'm not sure what's happening with Baker and Shida. I hope that isn't a heel turn for Shida because she was done dirty at Wembley. Main event of Rampage, we get a tag match. More people on TV. Willow's overhand chops on Anna J look like they really hurt. Other spots in this match were Willow Nightingale and Tyre Valkyrie trying to go for suplexes on each other, but it ended up with Willow rolling up Tyre Valkyrie into a small package. Then Anna J sweeping away, Sky Blue's legs on the apron so Willow couldn't make the tag. Then we got Anna doing a flatliner on Willow, followed by Tyre Valkyrie spearing Sky Blue. This incredible match ended with Anna J missing a thrust kick and hitting Tyre Valkyrie, and then Sky Blue hitting the Code Blue on Anna J. Heck, we might even get a Last Woman standing match next week, but then again, this was probably an anomaly, and we'll probably be going back to the same old singles matches next week. The women still need more TV time. Perhaps an internet show, like I keep on saying. Before this match started, we got a promo from Soraya and Ruby Soho. And Ruby Soho was saying that Tony Storm was out in the parking lot throwing shoes at birds. That was a nice little story involving the outcasts and character development. When the match started, we also saw that there was some miscommunication between Britt Baker and Hikaru Shida. That was a nice little story. But the commentary from Nigel McGuinness and Kevin Kelly seemed to want to talk about anything but this match. I know I'm used to Excalibur calling every single move, but in this, they didn't seem to be interested. Tony Storm and Ruby Soho seem to do most of the action. Soraya is improved and she took her power slam off the ropes from Statlander. Statlander went for the pin, rolled away and Tony Storm hit Soraya. Some more good storytelling. But the match ended, as you can see on screen, with a spray can. Baker was pinned by Soho. Okay, in this match in Zero Hour All Out, we got Athena doing a massive move. She kind of transitioned from a firefighter's carry on Sky Blue to a power bomb, then a high stack. Ringside was Billy Starks. And it's nice to see Billy. Again, Athena, because I think she's the star in this match, was mouthing off at Mercedes and DA Monte while Willow was being tagged in. So, what did Athena's tag team partners do? They simply dropped off the apron because they didn't want to be in the ring with Willow and they were fed up of Athena's mouthing off. I thought that was a nice little bit of storytelling. Later in the match, Mercedes Martinez did a sitting back suplex on Sky Blue from the top turnbuckle. It ended with Sky Blue hitting her finisher on D.A. Monte. Enjoyed the match, lots of storytelling, lots of people in the story. Statlander vs Soho. Soho coming to the ring with Soraya. No Tony Storm. Spots in this match I liked. A running knee from Statlander on Soho. It may seem nothing, but it amused me. Then we got Statlander chasing Soraya around the ring, the outside of the ring, and then walked straight into a dropkick from Soho. Statlander even did a no future. Then an avalanche power slam from Soho. We got a poison runner followed up with a DDT. Then it all ended with Tony Storm coming out from underneath the ring and taking the spray can from Soho, meaning Statlander hit Friday Night Fever. 